Good day everyone, my name is Nafneet Anand from Fiji Times, India Times Australia and Voice Ajka Local and Global. So today we got a special guest in the studio with us, Arunji and Shushmanaji. Welcome to the show. Thank you very much for inviting us. Thank you so much. That's great. We would be talking about one special tour to India. So why not you tell us more about it. Hi everybody, I'm Sushmita and Arun, we are from Kashi Indian Restaurant. As uh, everyone know knows it, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Kashi Indian no, restaurant. Most of the people know. <laughs> everyone knows. Thank it. you so much, Ji. Uh, but um, we are very passionate not just with our food, but also we love the Indian tradition and cultures that we have. And uh, we feel that our country, India, has lots to offer. And hence, we thought, why not start with the cuisine tour? When did the idea actually pop up? Uh, pop up actually uh, around 15 years ago when one of our friends approached us and said, can you take us to India? I said, look, we can, we, we can help you to do that. And by, by listening that conversation, can you take us to India? We thought, look, I mean, the first thing comes in the mind, where do we eat when we go to another city, regardless it's in uh, Surrey Hills or in India, and we are in food business, I'm a chef. So I thought, let's take them to India and plan and organize everything. This is how we yeah. do that. Yeah, apart from just food, I think people want to know really the culture of the country. Regardless where you go, wherever you go, is it India or anywhere, you want to see the real country, real you know. Yeah. So, and yes, monuments are very important. India without Taj Mahal is nothing. You know, but what is much more than Taj Mahal? Yeah, Taj Mahal. much more than Taj Mahal. Much plenty more of yeah, temples yeah, uh, all yeah. around the country. We and go to Rajasthan, we go right, to Punjab, yeah. we go to South India. Yes, and, and such yeah. a varied culture we have. And it took around four years to take action and implement that one. When when around fifteen years ago, someone approached us. Right? Yes, yeah. If I talk about the upcoming tour, when are we leaving? January. Uh, 7th of January 2023, so very soon. What are the basic uh, things that you keep in mind for somebody who has never been to India and giving him an experience of the life? What do we keep in mind? The locations, the food, how do we pick the locations? So locations, we have done many tours so far. We have done around 20 tours in between and we have taken around 150 plus people to India. We have done a lot of research that what people exactly want more than what we can offer them. So this is how we call it very small boutique tour, not more than 12 or 15 people uh, maximum. And we keep in mind that how every city and every culture and cuisine can be different so that they enjoy value for money as well. This is very important. I come to you, pick up my phone and call you that I'm interested in the tour. What cities would be visiting in this tour? So we are starting with uh, Jodhpur. So that's Rajasthan. So in Rajasthan, we are doing Jodhpur, Jaipur. Then we move on to Agra. From Agra, we are going to Varanasi, Varanasi to Amritsar. Amritsar to uh, the Lai Lama's place, which is Dharamshala. Maklod Ganj. Yeah. Uh, uh, Amritsar, of course, we'll do. And then Maklod Ganj, yes, we are doing that as well. And coming back to Delhi and staying in Delhi for three nights, relaxing. And then everyone gets back to their own place. Wonderful. With the food, when we talk about it, because you guys being from the industry, it is much easier for you to explain them that what are the aromas they're getting out of that particular food that they're having in a particular city. Is that right? That's right. And that's what we do. We go to the local families more than a restaurant. We go to the shops. We go, we pick up our own vegetables on that day, spices, spice market. Yeah. And okay. we, we pick up all these things. Most of the time we go to the local families our friends and families and we know. So you decide the menu that you're going to cook this particular dish today. You go to the local store, pick up the vegetables, 
the spices, most of the meat, time, most and yeah. all that stuff. Yeah. So, yeah. Sometimes uh, you just cannot uh, plan because if that vegetable or that thing is not good enough, obviously you have to have a plan B. So we do plan ourselves well, and we make sure that everything is various and very varied things we give our. But uh, we have to tell you something that the behind our success of this tour. The Delhi, there's a company which is known as TBI, Trail Blazer, Blazer of India. India. Yeah. The the people, professional people are behind us to help us to plan everything, which is the Nimish Rajesh and Homa. They are the main people. They they plan the they local plan, tours. Uh, yes, in that's India. right. We, we and you plan the food part of it. That's exactly. right. Yes, exactly. this is how we and do that. So it's for them to leave home, get on the plane, that's it. reach India, <laughs> come back, land back in <laughs> Sydney or whichever cities <laughs> they're from. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah just pack is. your bag and leave the rest to us. That's what we want. <laughs> How the weather is going to be, because we'll be traveling a few different places yes. in north itself. How the weather is going to be treating the people from Australia? So, uh, Namniji, that's why we plan either January and back to back. If there are more people, then January end and February, and then again in September. These are the two guided tours, but. If someone wants to do their own, we can plan any time. But these are the two best seasons we feel that traveling from one end, Rajasthan to Delhi, to a little bit cooler sometimes, but it's not uh, not bad. Who out of you two has done more tours to India as a guide? Look, uh, we have both varied type of experiences. Like Arun is more from the northern part. I'm from the Mumbai and south southern part. Like so. So it's it's a I think it's a combination. Yeah, yeah. That, <laughs> that's how we like we are uh, we are Bengali, right? And I I I grew up in uh, Varanasi and Allahabad, so that's why we we are very confident to take that part in terms. And of that, that is the place to be, yes, honestly. Yes, Varanasi right. if, is. If the I part. have to pick one destination for me to visit in India, that would definitely be Varanasi as well as a Golden Temple well, in Amritsar. That's right. So yeah. that's why from Kashi, which is known as Varanasi, one of the oldest inhabited city in the world. And Taking you back to your memory lane, the number of trips that you have made, tell me some memories about it. We, we make so many friends out of this tour, unbelievable. Yes. Unbelievable. One day, one memory, I cannot forget that. One day, there was a little boy, and I know how India is very much into tourism. They know that where are we from. And that boy, young boy, probably maybe 12 or 15 years old, and he started talking to me, and I, I really liked him. I said, where do you live? Where is your address? And he said, I live here. Here means on the street. Hmm. So really, we feel that, that he is still happy. He's still enjoying. I think and happiness is the state of mind. It's yeah. not about if someone is living on the street, I'm, I'm, I'm really feeling sad to say, but this is how it's the best, but richest th people and the poorest yes. people. I That's, tell you that something, I, cannot I forget feel that. like saluting these kids yes. uh, who are living on the street, still happy. But I tell you one thing, the amount of experience that they get from That's the true. streets, nobody can nobody stop can them live. to be successful. And, in absolutely. and he was so extra what he started talking to me and, and, and we, we could only do a little bit what we could that day. India is so diverse. We get to see the five stars. We get to see the best of the That's hospitality. It. We get to see the slum areas. I think this diversity is what makes India incredible. Absolutely. Kashi has been involved with number of Bollywood shows with Sinistar events That's as well. Right, yes. Any of the plans that you have to take your uh, people that you're traveling with you to one of the Bollywood uh, we were talking about Bollywood it actually. Mm -hmm. We were talking about with uh, Yoga Sharma about this, that let them show how an the experience Indian, for them yeah, to remember. Indian Bollywood works. Uh, yeah, Bollywood is really important in Western life and like yes. India, I think, uh, is known for Bollywood. So yes, yeah. it's, it's a big so thing. That's a great question. I mean, that's, that's <laughs> well, true actually. When we talk about India, there's not one or two things that comes into mind. It is a culture, it is food, it is diversity, it is uh, cinema, it is art, it is, you know, you talk about Everything, the things, that's it. going back to the Vedas, that's number of things that we have and we need to be proud of, which we are. Ah. 
yes and indian can be out of india but india can not be not taken be out taken of out india of, yeah, that's right yes that's and we have so much to share to be honest like you know our culture like you said culture tradition cuisine ayurveda there are so many yoga yoga yoga, yes. Things. yoga it's like endless so why not share it that's what i and arun feel any plans to have this ayurveda portion to be added in your trip in the coming years we do we, we do, do have we do have we do have we take people we do yoga and ayurveda session in india right. and very soon you will see that we are bringing back a part of ayurveda and yoga back to australia and sydney as well yeah. we are talking we are, right. we are working on that so you are already working on, on that because when we are talking about ayurveda and yoga that's are right such yes. Thing, yes yes Yes. that they take the disease out from the root yeah. that it does not That's occur right. again yeah. absolutely it approves yeah. so, and, and it cleanses your whole body uh, so. we have, we have been uh, going through kerala and haridwar for these they are the some rishikesh. origins and rishikesh yeah. uh, for these we are we have already gone through a lot of things so we might uh, associate uh, some part of this coming back to your cuisine tour how many days is it for uh, primarily is 15 days yeah, uh, two, two weeks, weeks. yeah, yeah. and then add on right so yes then you can if people want to stay more longer or see other parts because 15 days we feel is not enough for india um and so we if anyone wants to stay more we can do separate you know tours for them and they can extend it can i request you to give your contact numbers to our audiences who wish to come and join this particular trip sure so me, um anyone can contact me please on 04012324 Thank you so much. Or come to Kashi Indian Restaurant. <laughs> Meet us. We will take you India. Once again, before I wrap up, the final concluding question: What should people expect from this tour? Experience, stay, food, anything on top of that. Peace of mind, enjoy, and not you cannot forget this uh, tour. A memorable a trip. Memorable lifetime, memorable trip. We guarantee that they will have a great time. Look. me being uh, from the media side voice ajkal i normally don't recommend a particular business person or an individual but in this case i can definitely vouch for kashi indian restaurants cuisine tour to india ladies and gentlemen thank you so much for watching and thank you thank so you much. much thank Arunji you so much that's very thank you so much thank you for inviting us appreciate this is navneet anand from voice ajkal local and global bye for now One stop answer to your Australian education and visa matters. Jemco Sydney, dream big, achieve big. Fiji Times. We with the Times.